So guys, for the record in this video, I'm gonna be talking about all the money I've made from all my Fortnite videos. I'm gonna be talking about the money I put into all my Fortnite videos. So you're gonna be seeing like the actual profit I made. Maybe it's a good idea for you to judge for yourself if you want to invest the time and money into a YouTube channel to make Fortnite related content yourself. That being said, I'm gonna be super honest. So go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you appreciate that. If you're not subscribed already, go ahead and click subscribe before we get started because I'm just putting it all out there. Super honest, a lot of personal information on the channel. So let's get started. So guys, I've been known to make videos from time to time just discussing how much money I earn on a particular topic. Like I've made videos just like this on iPhones and Galaxy devices, basically comparing how much I spent on the device to how much money I earned on YouTube to kind of give you guys an idea of a behind the scenes, or if you want to start your own YouTube channel, you can kind of see what it takes. Now Fortnite is interesting because it's a free game, so if you make videos on Fortnite, technically you wouldn't be spending any money. All the money that you make would be profit. But in my case, that's not the case because I made a Fortnite video on my Galaxy S9 Plus, so you could kind of count the cost of the Galaxy S9 Plus into that. Um, I made a video where I bought a Nintendo Switch just to play Fortnite right there, so that would also be an added cost of the game. And I have a PS4 that I play Fortnite on, but I've had that for such a long time, I'm not really gonna count that at all. It's also important to point out that I am waiting for the Android version of Fortnite, hence why I still have my Galaxy S9 Plus. I probably would have sold it by now, but I need an Android device just for that purpose. So what we're gonna do today, I'm gonna look at all my Fortnite videos and see if I've made enough money to be in the green from the purchase of the Nintendo Switch and the Galaxy S9 Plus. The Nintendo Switch was, we can say about $300. The Galaxy S9 Plus, we can say, what was that, like $800? So if I've made at least $1,100 on Fortnite videos, they, the products would have paid for themselves. So let's take a look, and I'm not lying, like I get down and dirty, like I show you guys my analytics and everything. I'm a channel that likes to help everybody out, you know, just insightfulness or if you want to start your own YouTube channel, like this will definitely help you out. So last Fortnite video I made really didn't get that many views. Hence why I'm making this video on how much money I made on Fortnite because I don't really think I'm going to be making too many other Fortnite videos. I don't know if the trend is dying or if my popularity on Fortnite is just dying. So the first video I made was... Um, just a video where I played Fortnite in my car using 4G LTE. You can see my estimated revenue was $3.42. So not that much at all. I've almost graduated college, but I still have this stupid scientific calculator. So $3.42. Okay, so let's go on to the next video um, that's Fortnite related. So recording Fortnite gameplay on the Nintendo Switch without a capture card. That did a little bit better. You see it has about 14,000 views. It got me $17.71. So you can see the trend. Um, this has not even begun to pay for anything that I've bought that's Fortnite related. Let's continue on. Hopefully I got a little bit more popular videos. The next one is 20,000 views. The key to dominating Fortnite on the Nintendo Switch. So that's the Nintendo Switch and the Pro Controller. So I forgot to mention that. I bought the Pro Controller basically just to play Fortnite on the Switch right here. So that was, what, $60 more. The video itself only got $22. So the video didn't even pay for the controller. Um, another game where I basically just rage quitted playing Fortnite, 26.42. Oh, I lied, the video, last video wasn't 26.42, it was 31.39 because it was more than 28 days ago I posted it. Uh, the video where I buy the Nintendo Switch. So the last 28 days I've made $85, but we need to go back 90 days. So we, we made $229.66, $299.66. So that's pretty cool. That video basically paid for the Nintendo Switch. It's still getting views to this day, not that many views, but still, like it's still earning me money. So that's great. Um, also, um, I forgot about this, honestly, I blocked it out. So this is called the best mobile Fortnite experience. I bought some um, accessories for the PlayStation Vita that adds the L2 and R2 buttons. So it allows you to play Fortnite mobile 
or basically like remote play on the PlayStation 4 on the Vita. I spent probably $40 on that accessory. Let's see. The life of that video, I got $9.85. Okay. And then my next video that did really good on Fortnite, this is almost the ultimate Fortnite mobile experience. So this is where I just use the PlayStation Vita to do remote play from the PlayStation 4 to my PlayStation Vita. I'm not going to add the cost of the PlayStation Vita because I've had that thing forever. It was just sitting in a drawer. So all of this was just basically free money. Lifetime earnings from this video was $240.82. So that's great. It's kind of interesting that I spent money to buy an accessory for the PlayStation Vita that improved the experience, but that video didn't do as good. Okay, so then the originals, the Fortnite download scams, where I just basically talk about YouTubers that are saying Fortnite for Android is real when it's not. I kind of call out specific people. That video has made $88.89. And then the original, downloading a fake copy of Fortnite for Android, see what happens. So I got this, um, I downloaded this on the Galaxy S9. Let's go back like the last year to see the earnings. So $903.22. So that paid for the Galaxy S9 right there. So if my math is correct, all the money I've made on Fortnite videos is $1,000. $616.99, so right there. So in a way, that's pretty cool. I honestly did not buy the Galaxy S9 Plus just for Fortnite. I had it to review, but I've been holding on to it, waiting for Fortnite Mobile for Android, so I kind of added that into the cost. And then we have the Nintendo Switch, which is also the cost of me making Fortnite videos, and then the PlayStation Vita accessory, and then the, re the remote controller um, for the, the remote controller, what? That sounded weird. The pro controller for the PlayStation. And then we have the pro controller for the Nintendo Switch. So if we subtract, this is just an approximation, guys. So if we track $60 for the pro controller, Subtract $300 for the Switch. Subtract $40 for the PlayStation Vita accessory that I bought just to make a video. And then subtracting like $800 for the Galaxy S9 Plus. So profit made from all of these videos is $416. And honestly, this is a very unique situation because I only have... Right now, 70,000 subscribers, like we're trying to get that higher to 100,000. So if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do that now. But it's just luck. Most people or most channels of my size, if they made a video like this, they wouldn't have got so many views. It, I literally just lucked out. So don't kind of expect the same scenario. Don't buy a Nintendo Switch just to make a Fortnite video. Luckily, I did. <laughs> and I actually made enough money back to pay for it. Luckily, I made a Galaxy S9 slash Android video for Fortnite and it paid for it. But that's not always going to be the case. <sighs> that's YouTube for you. Like some YouTubers will spend so much money on tech on hopes of making it back on their channel. Like we've all seen the new MacBook Pros have come out. So many YouTubers are spending so much money on those. They're probably not going to earn the money back if they make a video. But we all have different reasons for buying the tech that we love. So guys, if you enjoyed this video and enjoyed my honesty, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Like I said, we are trying to hit 100,000 subscribers. We're at about 70,000 right now, so just keep it up. Thanks a lot. Bye.